Cloning has numerous applications, both in applied and basic science, in medical applications, in agricultural applications, pos uh, you know, potentially in, in uh, pr preservation of species. In terms of agriculture, which is not the major use that cloning will be put to, it allows us to preserve genetics so we can actually store phenotypes, so we can store both males and females, we don't just store germ cells, but it also allows us to multiply up elite animals so that we can disseminate the good quality genetics or the traits we want into the population as a whole much faster. Because you have to remember that agriculture and breeding is now worldwide. It's not just, you know, the farmer down the road where you swap bulls. Now the genetics are being shipped all over the world. And so by multiplying up, say, for instance, a, a very good quality sire, you can ship out loads of semen to many places around the world. Now that isn't going to shrink the gene pool. It's actually just disseminating good traits. But the other thing, because we can actually preserve genetics very simply, we can at a later date go back to those. This is also relevant to rare breeds of farm animals who may have traits which we, we have not identified yet. They may be more resistant to disease, which we may want to breed into the population in the future. <laughs>